Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tim, bringing you guys daily deals with Tim, where I talk about the latest news and deals on cryptocurrency, all for you guys. And before I begin, this is my personal opinion and not financial advice. Now today, I want to talk about the market sentiment on June 25th of 2018. Now I'm going through coin market cap right now, and starting off, Bitcoin is at around $6,266. Now, Bitcoin has retraced back quite a bit from its all-time high, which was 20k. It's $20,000 to 6,266. So, how much would that be? Is that around maybe 60 to 70% retracement? Yeah, I think I think it would be around there. Maybe yeah, around the area. So, just looking at it from just looking at it logically i think we are near the bottom however being near the bottom doesn't mean that we're going to bounce back right away if you guys um if you guys are interested in uh, learning about trading bitcoin or different kind of technical analysis on bitcoin i would suggest you guys to check out tone vase uh, I think he's a great professional trader, not only in the crypto market, but in traditional market as well. And although he does not trade crypto, uh, he gives out very good uh, technical analysis on Bitcoin. And you might not agree with him in some of his points uh, about his like Bitcoin maximalism, but I do think he gives out some very good points out there. And his point is that there are two ways that markets bottom out one way is capitulation which is a panic sell towards the bottom really quick and then bounces back up from that point and the second way is that market is going to be be boring for for long term maybe a year or two and then when it gets really boring and no one is interested that's when people rush in and bounce back from there on now looking at the chart of Bitcoin, I'm I'm inclined to say that we're going to we're, we're headed towards the first option because within six or seven months we have already dropped sixty to seventy percent, and this price action is not slow. This drop has been very quick, and I know that some people might say. Oh, crypto is a bubble, Bitcoin is a bubble, it's going to go to zero, it has no value. That's the fudders out there saying that crypto it has no value because there is no one backing it. But that is the value of Bitcoin, that there is no one backing it. It's only backed by electricity and the fundamentals of blockchain. It's censorship resistant. It is like a digital gold. No one can confiscate it for you if you have good security measures. And it is pseudo anonymous in a sense that you can protect your identity if you make if you take the good measures so that's why i believe in bitcoin and that it is a sound money for the future and looking at this pretty fast price drop i believe that we're going to break through this triple bottom into perhaps three to four thousand and then bounce back up from there on now the price action doesn't have to follow what I say. It probably won't, knowing that knowing my luck. Because when I when I try to predict something, it usually goes the opposite way. But I believe I, I feel that a lot of people might feel the same in a sense that when you buy into something thinking that it's going to rise, it usually drops. And if you sell something, it goes up way high tomorrow. So. I believe market is out to get the traders and the inexperienced people out there. But no matter what Bitcoin does, I'm hodling through it all. And that it's kind of like a prevention method that if you don't sell, you could you can hold through both both situations, whether it drops down to 3000, comes back up, or whether it stays at 5000 for 2 years. It doesn't really matter to me because I'm still dollar cost averaging in and holding on to that precious Bitcoin. So um, although I'm inclined to say it's going to 
capitulate, panic sell towards bottom probably in the next couple of months, it doesn't have to follow that way. But I hope you guys have a strong hand through this market. And I believe we're still in a bearish market right now. So be careful on selling because at any time this market can bounce right back up, perhaps tomorrow or perhaps next year. We do not know. I do not know. But if he has HODL, that's one good way to prevent, um, let's say, a lot of regrets. Because when you trade, that's when the regrets really hit you, saying, oh, I could have done this, I could have done this, I could have done that. But if you HODL, you only have a one-way path straight, whether to zero or whether to the moon. But that is for you to decide, and that is for the market to decide. So that is uh, my sentiment for Bitcoin. Now, for a lot of the other coins out there, they follow a very similar path to Bitcoin. Now, let's look at Litecoin, which is uh, one of my favorite coins out there, as it is one of my uh, one of my first investment investments, and it really had a crazy U.S. dollar peak right here around. I believe it went up to maybe four hundred or high three hundreds. And now it's trending back down. And as for Litecoin, I do think it's going to follow the, the second option. In a sense that it's going to have a long term trending down into a relatively, um, relatively boring price. Now, I believe that price might be around $100 because... When I was uh, holding through Litecoin during last year, it was really stuck between like fifty to sixty dollars, and it was very boring for a lot of a lot of people out there. And even when it hit a hundred dollars, it kind of trended back into lower fifties and upper lower to upper fifties around there. And then at one point, it broke out, rose up to four hundred dollars or high three hundreds, now trending back down. Litecoin has this peaks, but a lot of the times it is very boring to hold Litecoin. And that is probably why some people say Litecoin has no value. And why hold Litecoin? Litecoin sucks and blah, blah, blah. But I believe that Litecoin's value um, comes, being, comes from being an alternate alternative cryptocurrency that is re re relatively secure. That in terms of script which is their uh, hashing algorithm. In terms of script, they, they are the strongest hash rate out there. And they also have the guidance under Charlie Lee, although he does not have a, he, he kind of does have a major impact on the coin, but recently he's been kind of uh, taking back as a stance. Although he's helping Litecoin, he kind of wants to be an outsider in this, not a, dictator wanting to control everything which i respect that decision but my prediction i guess my sentiment with litecoin is that it's going to have a really boring market maybe around the 100 maybe it's going to drop to 70s 80s hold there for a bit rise a bit to 100 maybe 120 fall back and kind of hold its ground around the 100 dollar mark until one point where it's going to have a crazy rise, like like from the 50, 60 range to high 300s. Perhaps it's going to be from like hundreds to like six or 700. I don't know when that's gonna happen and it might happen sooner than we expect, but I still believe Litecoin has a relatively good future. Although my, I guess my sentiment and trust in Litecoin is a little uh, is a little less than Bitcoin, but I still think it has potential to succeed. And that's why I'm hodling through Litecoin as well. Now going forward, uh, there's a lot of altcoins out there and I really don't want to talk about every single one, but a couple of the ones that I'm really interested in is probably like Cardano and like Ethereum Classic, Icon, and stuff like that. But pretty much every altcoin has been trending down. And I do think it's going to take a while for the altcoin run to happen. 
And my, my sentiment with cryptocurrency is that if Bitcoin bottoms out and then goes back up, I do think there's going to be a bull run for Bitcoin and the alt the altcoins is going to suffer a bit. However, when that bull run for the Bitcoin is close to over, I think that's when alt altcoins are really going to have its moment. But my sentiment is that Bitcoin bull run lasts for quite a bit while altcoin bull runs last for very short term, but it, it peaks out really quick and then trends back down at a long term. Now you can see this in action if you check out the Ripple history. Because as you can see, if you see these kind of movements, it has a quick rise and trends back down for a long time. It has a quick rise, trends back down to a long time, same here, and then same here. So I do think it's gonna take a while for the altcoin boom to happen again, but I really don't know it's, if it's going to be a sustainable model because while currencies like Bitcoin and Litecoin really have values in them, in, in my opinion, I believe a lot of other altcoins out there doesn't hold the same value as them. Maybe Monero as they're innately private. but. A lot of the coins out there is they're very still shaky on their fundamentals and their values. So in my opinion, my sentiment is that there might not be a, a quick bull run for the altcoins, but who knows? Um, kind of rambling on now on, but <laughs> that has been my sentiment for cryptocurrency in general. I still do think there's going to be a, a bit more of a bear market. Hopefully it, the bear market will end soon within a couple months or by end of this year, but it also doesn't have to follow that pattern in that we might have a, a longer term bear market. But that said, keep your hands strong and let's huddle on to the moon. So thank you guys for watching. If you guys like this kind of content, like this video, comment below and smash the subscribe button. Also, if you guys want to support this channel, check out the links below and I'll really appreciate that. And as always, I'll bring you guys more deals on Daily Deals with Tim.